Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey guys, welcome to Poparama. My name is Ramon. I'm DJ Wanda. And we're going to give you the lowdown on pop culture through our eyes. And boy, it is pretty. First up is J. Cole. Now I read a lot of reviews of music. I like to know what's happening and what people are saying. You so do. The reviews for J. Cole, I've never read anything like this. The feedback is phenomenal. Now the thing about hip hop too, people who love hip hop, we speak the truth. We don't lie and people are loving J. Cole. I have a prediction that this year is going to be the year of J. Cole and I'm not going to talk about Beyonce, I promise. You won't talk about Beyonce, but I will. You see, the 57th Grammy Awards are just around the corner and your usual suspects are up for nominations. Sam Smith, who's had a stellar year, Megan Trainor, Ed, I saw that, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, who I love, Coldplay, Iggy Azalea, the usual suspects that have been dominating the airwaves are all up for all the, the major nods, right? But there's one woman, Queen Bee, Miss Beyonce, who cannot put a frickin' foot wrong, right? Even when she's in the middle of an elevator. Ella, 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 you know, hanging out. So this woman here, so Beyonce ties with Dolly Parton, get this, for 47 Grammy nominations. Wow. Dolly Parton, who knew, right? Because her Drunken Love was nominated for the recent, um, off the recent album, her self-titled album, Beyonce, she's now surpassed Dolly to be the most Grammy nominated female artist in history. Wow. That ties her seventh in line with David Foster, of course, the fabulous music producer guru. She's, I could only see Beyonce going up the ranks. She'll be top three in five years, I predict. So do I. And the connection between producer David Foster and Dolly Parton is, of course, the late and beloved Whitney Houston. Now, last week, mm. the biopic of her life aired, and it has got disastrous reviews. Uh, People yeah. are just so angry at this movie. Why are they angry at this movie? Well, basically, it's a piece of fiction. It's a love letter to Bobby Brown. Whitney is portrayed in a very unflattering way. And it doesn't even use Whitney Houston's voice through the songs in the movie. It's using Deborah Cox. Well, Deborah Cox is a formidable force, right? We all know Deborah Cox's vocals are off the chain. So she didn't do justice? No, Deborah Cox can sing. But the reason Whitney was called The Voice it's because she was the voice. There's just some things you can't copy. I have no idea what's up with biopics at the moment. Aaliyah was ta Aaliyah tanked Wendy Williams, naughty. And of course, you know, this woman, Angela Bassett, who everybody thought she would pull something really special out of the woodworks, but there you go. So FKA, FKA Twigs is my favourite artist of the week. Um, she is a UK singer-songwriter, she's a producer and an incredible dancer, might I add, aka Aaliyah Moose in stylings. Um, she's released a video here in New Zealand called Pendulum, where she's suspended from her hair uh, and her athleticism, her body, her looks. She's interesting, she's quirky, her style is kind of um, slow-moving pop, electro, it's very sexy. Um, and it's she's just one to watch. So if you haven't checked her out, please do. Pendulum FKA Twigs. My choice for the week is Robin Thicke, Get Her Back. Now, I love a slow jam. I love mm -hmm, it when we girl. take it too romantic. And we were talking about this before. <laughs> There's a general move in music and top 40 to go slower. You've got yeah, Sia. True. You've got John Legend. You've got the new Nicki Minaj tracks. You've got, okay, I said it, Beyonce, Partition or Drunken Love. These are much slower songs now. That's the vibe at the moment. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But, you know, Robin Thicke, slow jams, mm, slippery, down towards the piano, into his pants, where he lets it all hang out. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're either a Robin Thicke fan or you're not, slippery when wet. I just said it. Okay, that's our wrap-up for Poparama. Join us next week where we can kind of do it all again. I'm Ramon. I wonder. Peace. Peace. <laughs>